Hello there, this is a tutorial to show you how to boot web converger on a laptop and configure the wireless all the way through. So here I am, I attached the USB, I press F12 to choose to boot from the USB and the BIOS menu will come up and then I choose the SanDisk. So first and foremost I in this way, I'm putting in the wireless credentials right here on the command line. I just press tab here, and then I put in the, uh, the ESSID and the password. And then I just press enter, and then it boots into that. So I recommend doing it this way, so that you know that the wireless works in advance. Um, there are lots of different wireless uh, devices out there, and some unfortunately just might not work so I highly recommend just do this sort of live mode just to test um, not just your wireless device works that everything works so that icon means it's looking for the network and uh, on my ThinkPad there the sort of Wi-Fi light shows so I find that a quite good indicator to see what it's doing and don't do the mistake I do and uh, accidentally have the Wi-Fi switch off. So I'm going to start from the very beginning here and uh, set up a configuration. And I'm not too sure if you can see in the identity, but it actually has the MAC address. So there's one big caveat here is that Web Converger needs your, your machine identifier and your MAC address to set up or um, to give you the configuration correctly. And of course, if you boot on your network interface, your wired interface, your MAC address is going to be different to your wireless interface. So it's quite important to, um, well, to know your MAC address ideally and to, to go through the whole process uh, with the correct MAC address, otherwise the configuration will not be correctly applied. So on my other computer, I'm now just confirming the configuration, saving the password somewhere safe, and now I'm editing the configuration. And in that configuration, I'm going to put my wireless credentials in again. So the idea is that Web Converger will later sort of store these uh, wireless credentials, and that, that way it knows how to join the network. So just saving the change there. So great, we have a configuration. Now we need to add the machine to that configuration. So I'm going to reboot the machine and I'm going to boot again from the USB stick. But I'm going to, what needs to happen now is that we need to install Web Converger. And why do we need to install Web Converger? We need to install it A to get um, automatic updates so you can sort of like, you know, forget about it once you've deployed it. But most importantly, only in that installed mode can Web Converger cache your wireless configuration. So right now I'm going to install it to the hard drive. And you might have something on that hard drive, so you probably might not want to uh, delete everything on that hard drive. So you can actually install it to another USB stick, and I recommend um, a lot of deployments to do that. But um, if you have a machine with a hard drive you're not using and it's inside there, well, just use the hard drive like I'm doing here. And as you can see, installing Web Converger takes like literally a minute. So now that we've installed it, we have to hold down Alt to get to that boot menu. And it's important now because Web Converger has just been installed. It doesn't actually have a conf configuration. And at this point, you need to put in the uh, wireless credentials once again. So if you do it just like that, now we're booting from the hard drive. Uh, you can see the USB stick is removed from the uh, little picture in the picture there. And the wireless sh should set up correctly. And at boot two, uh, if you've added the machine previously while in live mode, now the configuration will be cached and stored on the read-write install of Web Converger.
Yep, that means wireless is or networking is rather working. So at this stage, the configuration is cached. So just to prove it is uh, working for you guys, I can, well, so everything's configured like we expect it to be. And uh, the next step will be me to shut down this machine. So there's no network cable here, no no uh, USB dongle here. Now Wikiverger is installed and also Wikiverger has the wireless configuration. And from this point on it can, uh, since it's installed, it can up keep up to date. And it can be uh, well, the wireless will, will work in this mode. And last but not least, it's on the configuration. So if you later decide to change the home page, uh, you can do, and all your connected devices will reflect your configuration over time, depending whether instant update is on or you or the frequency of the reboots and such and so forth. So that is a laptop booting wirelessly onto Web Converger. Great, there we have it. Start to finish, wireless setup and Web Converger. If you have any questions, please email support at webconverger.com.